Morris the Monkeyest Monster by Giles Andre and Sarah McIntyre. Morris the Monkeyest Monster lives in a house made of dung. It only smells stinky enough when it's damp, so he keeps the walls wet with his tongue. He sleeps in a bed of old compost, shoveled on lovely and thick. And when he gets up, he goes into the bathroom and gives all his scabs a good pick. His cheeks are encrusted with pustules which dribble like hot melted cheese. Warm yellow wax oozes out of his ears and his eyebrows are riddled with fleas. His forehead's all clammy and sticky. His breath reeks of rotten fish paste. Goodness knows what he collects in the creases and great folds of fat round his waist. If you look under his armpits, you're bound to find loads of dead bugs. He munches and crunches them in between meals and then flosses his teeth with fresh slugs. He feeds off the snotty green bogies that lurk up his big hairy nose. And sometimes he nibbles the poisonous mould which he scrapes off the end of his toes. He washes this down with cold snail slime collected from underneath rocks. But just to make sure that it's tasty enough, Morris filters it first through his socks. It's years since he last changed his t-shirt. It's crusty and crawling with ants. His shoes are all slurpy and squelchy inside and potatoes grow out of his pants. His fingernails badly need cutting. They're terribly grimy and black. He uses them daily to scratch at his warts and to squish the big boils on his back. If Morris starts feeling too tidy, he always knows just what to do. He has a long bath in the sewage canal and then washes his hair in the loo. You may think he's foul and disgusting, but really, in spite of all this, there's nothing he loves more than making new friends. So he's coming to give you a kiss.